Hello and good morning, and thank you for joining IBM Demo. I am Sarit Kozokin, and with me on stage is Eileen Turner. IBM Trustier helps financial institutions detect digital identity fraud. Today, we're going to show you how you can welcome in good customers, keep the fraudsters out by also reserving the uh, user experience. It is important to mention that the methodologies that are used for stealing identity can be used to many user um, registrations and applications, such as users accessing online services for the first time. For this demo, I will be a real customer. So I want to buy a car for my daughter who goes out to college. That means we'll see her more. And for that, I apparently need a loan. A friend of mine was just telling me about this cool new bank called Ban Ki-moon, and I would like to register and create an account with this bank. So I'm going online, trying to join this bank, creating an account. I'll put in all my details. My email address. My password. OK. OK. My first name, last name, and most importantly, my phone number. So now I will try to register. Voila, I'm now a customer of Ban Ki-moon. So I have other motives. I'm a fraudster. So I've seen that Sarit's been very active on social media, and I did a quick search, and I was able to gather her personal details. I'm going to use those personal details to try to create an account. This account will serve as a mule account for fraudulent transactions sometime in the future. But in this case, when I'm, I'm taking Sarit's personal data, I'm actually going to use my own email that I've used for fraud in the past. I'm also going to use her phone number, which I was able to gather when I did my search for her information. I've also modified my device so that it's not going to be able to be traced back to me. So Trustier has a global intelligence service based on billions of sessions that we analyze each day, looking at parameters that relate to the user, the session, and the device. On top of that, we also look at the mobile carrier intelligence um, based on the mobile phone number that we just, we've just seen. So information like um, which uh, plan the user is on or the location that the user is registered at, all of those we take into account. This is correlated with other risk parameters, risk indicators, and it can assist with um, identifying the assurance of the user identity. So what is happening in the background? First, Eileen enters the details. Those are collected and sent to Pinpoint for a, a evaluation. On the second phase, Trustier assesses the risks, looking at all kinds of information. For example, the reputation of the email or the domain of the email. And this means that we're looking to see if it was used in the past in any fraud events. On the third phase, we're looking for the, um, we're pinging the mobile carrier intelligence service to get more information on the user, like the user reputation or the account holder name. And this will be compared with that Eileen is entering. I'm going to go ahead and register. OK, we can see that it's checking here. Oh, it looks like I can't create this account. Uh, it looks like it knows that, that I'm not who I say I am. But in this case, this isn't going to dissuade me. I'm going to take this a step further. I'm going to take Sarit's personal data, and I'm actually going to try it on my mobile device. And in this case, I'm going to continue to use her personal information, um, and I'm going to enter it on the mobile device. I'm going to use a new virtual bank by the name of PillPal Bank, which is actually even better for me as a fraudster, because I won't have to physically identify myself. But the interesting thing here for me is I'm actually going to take it to a different financial institution and enter her credentials. So Trustee can detect uh, fraudulent registration attempts across institutions, looking at data across institutions, also looking at uh, and correlating cross-organization uh, malicious uh, patterns, fraud patterns. Um, this can be also used from Yule accounts. So fraud patterns will be generated by the research team and correlated to find Mule accounts. So Trustier, with its huge worldwide footprint and the global cross-organization view, along with the 
uh, layered approach and unique combination of AI and human intelligence can transparently assess the identity. Oh, you can see here again, I was not able to create this account using Surich credentials. Even more unbelievable than that, I'm at a different financial institution. So it is important to note that even in the unlikely event that Eileen would have managed to create account anywhere, Trustee would still monitor this as what we call young account, looking at post-creation patterns. This way we can identify if this account is being used by fraudsters to commit malicious activities. So let's summarize real quick. IBM Trustier can help the world's leading financial service providers detect digital identity fraud across the digital customer journey. IBM Trustier can validate user data against our known global fraudster consortium and correlate user and carrier data against our IBM Trustier intelligence. And lastly, IBM Trustier can correlate cross-organizational fraud patterns. Please join Sarit and I out at the networking session and visit the IBM Trustier booth. We'd love to talk to you more about how IBM Trustier can help welcome in the right customers, helping to keep fraudsters out while preserving the customer experience. Thank you. Thank you.